Who the hell is this guy? That's classified. Hang on! The fate of the world depends on you. They're going rogue. They always go rogue. Oh, I like her. This mission is gonna cost you. Possible. Dead Reckoning. Ready PG-13. Thank you. I appreciate this. You want your one of these? I'm good, KG. You want your ginger shot? I'm good, man. I'm good. I need some positivity today. I'm trying to cover this spread, and your vibe is off, G. What's wrong with my vibe? You got to get you one of these, G. Get to sip some of this positivity in your life, and boom! You see that? Spread's covered. Thank you, mama. In a minute, G. Ha-ha! Man, what is all this right, man? Oh, shit, what's up, y'all? Yeah, y'all know what it is today. The chairman here with the professor. Yeah, the professor, the one and only. Yeah, y'all know what it is. We're finna go see what's up with him. We're gonna chime us in, tap in with him. Let's go get it. Hey. Welcome. Ooh. Yeah, this is fly as fuck. It's the man, man. Hey. What's good, bro? Thank you so much for being here, bro. Man, thank you, Humble, dog. Humble, man. Humble, look at bro. this. Damn. Let's go, like man. We're trying to make it work. You know what I'm saying? Man, look, look what street ball got you. Feel you know I me? Mean? Yeah. Humbling, yeah. <laughs> you feel know I me? Mean? Gotta have a vision, right? Humbling, absolutely. You gotta have a vision, man. This yeah. is the palace? Yeah, this is our, this is our, our home court. Global wow. Hooper, layer 12. Wow. What so. you, where did this, where did this come from? So, over the years doing YouTube, you know what I mean? You're always having to like rent a gym or, you know, somebody want to do a collab next day. It's like, where do we go? You gotta rent a space. And then for me, you know, like you said, things have been good, but going to LA Fit, you know what I'm saying? I can't go to the gym, like Facts. it's an appearance, you know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> so, right, right. so I needed just to work out, you know, this is just the lab to work out, but then also collabs, offices over here. You know, the whole business you know right mean? here, bro. Yeah, <laughs> trying are to you work, man. Serious? Are you trying to serious? What you mean? You doing it? You doing it, hey, man. man? Humble, bro. Coming from you, shoot, man. Listen, bro. Listen. You know, you know, everything starts seeing it, yep. and every time I talk to you, you always on it. You know, one of my, one of my, my, one of the questions I got for you today is, how you always staying tapping in? How you always mm. evolving, man? Mm. Every time I see you, bro, you know, I went from. You know, the kid that was playing in high school to community college coach come watch you. Then you get the N1 tour. Then you come off the tour. You go to YouTube. You, professor, hey. we're in the same wave, bro. Hey, I'm humble, riding bro. the same wave. I'm riding it with you. You feel me? Humble, but man. But I always want to know, like, yeah. how, you, how you stay tapped? Mm -hmm. How you stay tapped in? I want to stay tapped. Oh, you want to talk about here or now? Nah, we Let's rocking, bro. Yeah, we yeah. in it. We in it. We oh, are here. Oh, for me? Yeah. Man, just uh, really just being motivated. I feel like this is my, pur my God-given purpose, you know what I'm saying? That's to inspire, talking. to give. Burn to entertain, yeah. to give everything I can through the God-given gift of entertaining through basketball. I feel like that's what it, that's my purpose. So as right. far as being tapped in logistically, hanging around the right people, you know what I'm right. saying? I'll right. introduce you to some of my team over right. here. They're dope, but um, hanging around the young dudes too, though. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Staying, Cause yeah. like, you know. They the vision, they the future. Man, it's crazy. And, and it's their world, real shit. Like real talk. It's like young boys world. Yeah, like, you know, you talk to 20 year olds, it's like a new way to edit every few months, facts, you know what I'm saying? Facts. But you gotta like pivot. You gotta be able to pivot quick. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. hanging around the young dudes is a big part of it. You know what I'm saying? And then just like, I think like you said, I like what you said, man. Innovating, you know what I'm saying? Facts, I try facts. to like, I try to come with things that are different because in the basketball world, we already got, we got the GOATs, you know facts, what I'm saying? Facts, we got the facts. league. You got college, you know what I'm saying? So I try to like, like, what can we do over here that makes it where you gotta watch is something that's only happening over here. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I love like you that. were talking about some of the cosplay. You checked out some of my like cosplay man, videos. Man, I love it. Lord, <laughs> listen, listen. Everybody out there who's creative, you gotta have a fucking Picasso, someone you can follow. <laughs> but you the only to me, mm. shout to overtime and all the niggas who outside playing street ball. Mm. But to me, mm. man, you you're the godfather of this shit, bro. You the only person I see that's putting out outdoor basketball, speaking to playground basketball, going into your bag, the mm. tricks, keeping the art, the art form of basketball to me is the point guard. He's, the po he, he's not only the leader in it, but he's the vision. Mm -hmm. He already coming down, he already understands matchups. So when, I, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm watching you, when I'm talking to you, mm. one, of the, one of the dope things of why we're here today is like your vision and how you see it and where you're going. 
that's important for printing script to everybody out here who's trying to be inspired. Mm -hmm. That's why Humble, we're here today, bro. bro. I already know, bro. You Humble, got a thousand man. things. Nah, fuck that. You grinding, though. You making this shit reality. Let's you hear go, me? bro. Yeah. Man, show me yeah. around this small fucker. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. hard. Yeah, we out here. This is hard, so, bro. So we right this here on hard. court. You know what I mean? LED video wall. Facts. We had your videos. Spin <laughs> Something crashed over here. We had your videos up here, man. Oh, no. Nah, that's KG Top 50. Oh, wow, We're supposed oh, to be oh, spinning right it, now. Yo, stop it. Stop it. Top 50 career stop moments. It. You know what I mean? Ooh, stop it. So now you got an outlet to where you can actually bring video content in the wave of what you're doing, why you shoot, right? Yeah. yeah. You probably yeah. turn the lights in here, it's fucking like a, what, a rave party in this motherfucker? <laughs> Whatever you want. Right. No, nah, but yeah, it was like I was trying to make something that was just like the most visually stimulated. You know what I mean? It's, it's like studio slash you know, the lab where we're it. working out. You know what I'm saying? It. Offices over here. We part, I'm partnered with this church next door. I go to this church over here, Fearless LA. Okay. And uh, we're partners on the Sundays. You know, the kids come in here, but. That's how we get it, you know. These things ain't cheap over here, you know uh, what I'm saying? No, it's Sta Staples, right? <laughs> it's California. You downtown. I <laughs> yeah. see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, so. Is this like a on. is this like a Robin Big slab? Is this like this like you one of the You know what's funny places? though? That was actually came to mind too, because I, I you know that fantasy factory was crazy back he in the day. He killed that. He killed it. Yeah, that was that was, actually, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit of part of the inspiration, but also, yeah, Facts. just having our own thing, you know what I mean? Like for me, I mean, one day we want to we want to make it as big as the Fantasy Factory. Right. I think that was like fifty thousand square feet. Was it? This is, I, I didn't know the detail of yeah. it, but it was big. I he had like a bunch. thirty. He's skater. He's skater, so he needed places to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do too, though. You know what I'm saying? We, oh, okay. up, we should try to upgrade though. Hey. You know what I'm saying? This is just a good little like uh, starter for us. Yeah. But you know, also like I said, I use it to give. So like other other creators, gotcha. Amazon rented it for a, a oh. documentary. Okay, I got you. Uh, you know, music videos, sometimes just the homies. Hey, I gotta work out, work out a play, come through, you know what I mean? So. Event space is what this it's is. It's every day, yeah, it's gotcha. everything. It's, a, gotcha. it's, a, it's really a studio, gotcha. but, um, but a hoop studio, so. How so much yeah, content man. are you pumping out of a place like this? Out here, you know, you most of our videos are actually off site though, you know what I mean? Because you, you need the story, right? Yep. yep. Uh, but, but, you know, like we had uh, Jay Will came here. Mm. Oh, we did an interview here. Uh, Dr. J actually came. Get the up. fuck out of here. Y'all got Dr. J. We, on, we only had to join a few months. Doctor, they shot that ABA documentary, then they asked me to be in it. And I was like, cool. And then they were like, yeah, you know, Dr. J. And so I'm like, all right, cool. So I was supposed to come up for like a little drop or a couple, a cameo or something like that. And then they were like, you're actually gonna be talking to Dr. J right here. So right where we're standing, we had Dr. J's uh, career thing spinning. We were just talking street ball, talking history, talking the ABA. All that, so that no, was he super cool. he he really kicked off street ball in like the '60s, '70s. Yeah, he played at the Rocker, man. Bro, it's listen. crazy. It's not as much. There's not enough footage, man. I see like the, the pictures. I wish I could see that. They didn't have, uh, you know, I don't think nobody up in Harlem had the 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 nah, right. Nah. When they had that, yeah, right. I, I don't even that. know when that started. I'm trying to figure listen, out like what's the oldest Rucker. It was movie. almost like if you was nice, yeah. you had to go to Rucker to actually. A lot of the ABA style was coming from. The Street? Rucker style. That's what they when said. You was coming off the palm, catching it, going right into. Yeah. Like, Dr. J got all that from, from Uptown. Real yeah. shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then, you know, the league didn't even sanction outdoor. It's just guys going out there just getting it in just because it was, you know, mm -hmm. pulling up, just hooping. But Dr. J is like the godfather of street ball. Like, right. he, he and a bunch of cats that I can go through a name, Sweet Peas, and, and, and just... Uh, the goat and just all of them? all of them, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You we talked about a little yeah, bit. You already know what I'm talking about, right? You already know what I'm talking about. But those guys, it's crazy that you had Dr. J here going through that because he, to me, is the godfather of that. That's what I told him. I was like, it's crazy, too. I think we talked about it a little bit when we did your podcast at, at the Rucker, yep, yep, like Fire, yep, whatever yep. that was. But I was like, there's a lineage, actually. You know what I'm saying? Like, like him going to, to Rucker, Rucker yep. being what it was, and one was basically the globalization of Rucker Street Bowl. Facts. You know what Facts. I'm saying? And like the whole, it's crazy how things are linked though. I even said like some of the way Pistol Pete did, like yeah. I probably wouldn't play the same. You know, Pistol Pete didn't do his thing and inspire Magic. Yeah. Magic inspired Skip to my Lou. Facts. Skip to, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Right. Right. <laughs> sit down, man. Yeah, let's get you gotta it. Sit let's down get it. it. Man. I appreciate you, bro. Right. I appreciate you. Right. right. All right. You know we're in Lakerville. Yeah. And it's always weird to be out here with shit, right? Yeah. So one of the first things I want to ask you, man, going right into this, yeah. is um, can you remember the first time you fell in love with watching what? 
your favorite street ball or your first impression and what inspired you from the street ball? Can you remember your first impression of what encouraged you to start at playing street ball? Yeah. You know, it actually goes back to, uh, I would say, I, I do remember the moment, but I, it's funny. I was actually already a fan. This is how I know it's my God-given purpose. I was already a fan of like the showtime aspect of basketball from like Iverson, Tim Hardaway, like players that were in the league, right? So, they, so the ooh factor, the cross. Yeah, I don't know ball. why. I was just, I always was taken to that. Gravitated then, to the guard? Yeah, and then I had a trainer when I was in fourth grade. He taught me that AI cross. Like it was one of the first movies he taught me, but I learned it in like a week. And then I would play grown men, you know what I'm saying? And I was like tiny, right? I'm tiny forever, but I would cross grown men with that move. People would go crazy. I remember loving that feeling. Like after you got to hit that jumper, right? So I hit that jumper. And people go crazy. I never forget, like, it's my favorite moment in basketball. So naturally, even though I'm competitive, I'm trying to play, you know, with the fundamentals first and all that. There's something in me that always loved to show tie. I love to turn the game out and turn it into, like, a show. But that's like street ball, right? So then, to answer your question, when uh, And One Mixed a Volume 2, I think, came out. I think this is, like, 2000, 2001. I, I got the tape from trying on a pair of And One shorts. And I was like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? So me and my friend checked it out. And then I, I remember loving it, but then I remember I got Mixtape Volume 1 off like eBay or something like that. Because I was like, where did this come from? There's a Volume 1? And when I saw Skip doing his thing at Rucker, that's why that, that appearance we did with you was special. When he was doing his thing at Rucker, that's when I actually like fell in love. I was like, yo, this, like I want to do this somehow. I don't know how. I don't even know if I belong there. You know what I mean? But when I play, I want the crowd to sound like that. You know what I mean? To do that. Yeah. So, so you, early on, you started in basketball, and was it your father that asked the community coach, the community college coach, to come check you? What's yeah, the yeah, it was funny. Um, actually, you know, I didn't play varsity until my senior year in high school. I, I looked like I was like eight years old forever. That's why I couldn't play JUCO. Yeah, I looked like I'm about twelve years old by the time I got to community college. You know what I mean? It's funny because most of my homies I talk to, they got a scholar, and if you didn't play D1, they feel like you ain't really that good. For me, it was like impossible to play college. Like I went to three community colleges. I remember one of them specifically. It didn't make no sense. We won every game. I don't think I missed a shot the whole day, you know, like play like three, just little pickup games to 11 or whatever. But I literally, I don't think I missed a shot. You know what I'm saying? I was so locked in. That's all I did. No social life, no girls, no hangouts, no nothing, just basketball. Word. I still got cut. The coach, he was like, I don't think he could guard nobody. You know what I'm saying? He's just too small, right? And then uh, Pops was, he owns a jewelry store in my hometown. So he was selling jewelry to the local community college, the one I didn't want to go to because I wanted to leave my parents home. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get out of town. But he was, you know, he persuaded it for him to give me a look. And the guy, the guy was nice, though. He's like, yeah, hey, we'll give him a look, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I came to open gym, was putting in work. But, you know, they already gave their scholarships out. So they're like, you know, we'll let him redshirt. You know what I'm saying? Get stronger for a year, see what's what next year. But then a couple of injuries happened to the guards, so I sued up. But I'm going in at garbage, you know, three minutes a game or, you know, garbage. I go in, we're down 20, they dunk on me. You know what I'm saying? I was that guy. Mm. <laughs> but uh, it made me better, you know what I mean? Right. And actually probably made you hungry, right? So hungry. Right. The, after that freshman, that's the funny part. So after my freshman year of college, and mind you, I graduated 17, so I'm like young. I'm a late bloomer and I'm super young. So I remember I already played ball 24 seven, but now I hit the weights for the first time. And then coach was real cool. The assistant coach had me come in there 5 a.m. Make, I think I make 500 jumpers before class. And you know, that's a lot. Dude. You're shooting by yourself with no rebounder, 500. So I'm making 500, 5 a.m., open gym at 2.30, hit the weights, come back in the gym. That, then just on my own, I've come back, you know what I'm saying? I think that's all I do. Uh, and then low key, I was like the best player in the gym by the time, you know, season ends in the spring. By the time May, June rolls around, I'm literally running the court and something clicked. I got a little more physical on defense. I feel like I don't even miss, you know what I'm saying? D1 recruits coming in, they want to look at them. I'm we wiping that down. <laughs> and I didn't even know, by the time A1 comes around, I don't even know how good I got. Nobody was there to really affirm it because, you know, the politics, the coach say, yep. if he say you the guy here, well, so what about the scholarship? <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotcha. So it was funny how it worked. Wow. The hunger, though. Wow. So at what point do you incorporate what you what you feeling inside and how you looking at it, right? And what you're into. And then on top of it, skill wise, basketball wise, you're actually getting better. Yeah. When do you combine the two and actually take it to the playground? Or is that what you're doing still in the whole doing process, it. right? It's still happening in, in right. the midst. Right. So 
Are you pulling off? Are you trying stuff as you go in the midst of these workouts? Or when you go play, are you throwing it in here, sprinkling it a little bit? When I was growing up, if I did that, so only my senior year in high school, I had a coach who let me do my thing. Oh, Outside gosh. of that, in Oregon, everything's Hoosiers, everything's like high, low, format. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a little white people basketball. You Not know what even mean? that, but <laughs> I can say that early, late 80s, early 90s, the, consi- the, the understanding of basketball at that time was never to disrespect the game with this. Yes, and yes. To, to, to try a trick during the game was like you totally disrespect not only the players of the game, but the game itself. Yeah. At least that's what I was taught. I'm from South Carolina. Really? I didn't think, I didn't think see, it depends where you're from, right? Nah, bro, we was taught the same thing. It was yeah. white collar, basketball, you passed it, you, you, you set a pick, yeah. you called for it, you did. Like I come from blue collar that. So when you say this, I totally understand. I wouldn't have thought. I got to Farragut my senior year in high school and my coach let me play. Let's do your thing. That's when you start seeing. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah, right? Yeah. So I, I think totally, it's, yeah, it has to do with being systemized, right? We ain't got the athletes. Too, though. Only one dude in my high school that could dunk, you know. Oh, what wow. mean? So like, you know, we we gotta beat them with our mind, right? Trying to run the offenses or whatever. But also, yeah, it was just looked at a showboat. And I remember my college coach. I remember one time I came down, and uh, I did that behind the back. I looked this way, but I threw it with that hand. You know what I'm saying? Dude caught it, dunked it. You know what I'm saying? It looked like it was a great play. Dude stopped. My coach stopped the uh, whole practice. Beep, beep, beep. He's like, man, what's this AAU shit, man? You out here doing boom, 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 boom. And I was like, oh, like, I remember I'm, I'm young. I don't really get it. I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? He thought I was showing out too much. But so, no, when it came to that college, I did the AI cross, though. That kind of looked like a no, game no, ready that's, move. That's a scary move. That's you know what I'm saying? Move. He even got a little weary, though, because everybody went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Hit that jumper. But uh, outside of that, you know, in that time when and one was going on, it made street ball popular everywhere, right? Like, you go to a park now, only certain parks are going off. You know, Venice, like big renowned parks. Back then, though, every park was going on. Like, I remember we had a street ball court, like, in Salem, Oregon, and, like, even that was, like, four games in before you could touch the court. Shot to Salem. Yeah, so, I'm, so right. yeah, I started playing street ball there, and then, um, you know, I played so much that it wasn't just there. I'm playing pickup on a day. I got practice. I'm weird. Like, I don't even think about resting. And so that's all street ball out there, just being a fan of and one. Not even really masterminding it, right? That's just how I played it. But then I know I got to tighten up over here, work on my pick and roll, figure it out. So, so you know, one of the things um, I was always fascinated was how um, polished the and one guys were. Because I knew they was, they was real street dudes. They was real street guys. Yeah. And they was real, um, when I say street guys, they're not traditional basketball players, you know what I'm saying? After they play, they might go, you know, blow, they might go smoke, they might go drink a beer, they might go do whatever. For sure. Okay. <laughs> they're not coming in here working out, they're not doing seven to teams, they're not putting two hours of workout in this. I was always, I was always, I was always impressed on how professional when it came to playing, to play. Once y'all hit the court, it didn't matter. It didn't matter who was hurt, it didn't matter who was bumped, it, 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 it looked like a show. Yeah. Take me through the early days of not only joining N1, but that whole process of getting on the tour. It looked like it was a whole master class, but it looked like at the same time, Professor, as soon as you got it, bro, you never let it go. <laughs> I mean, is that accurate? Yeah. First of all, that original N1 team, like the, the one the original N1 team, C. special. Very. Shout out to the big bros, man. No AO, hot sauce, main event. Shane, headache, out, rest in peace, Ali Mo, rest in peace, Escalade, Prime yeah. Objective. Right. Everybody up there, bro, special group. The funny thing is you say that, it was like just meant to be because like there was no real, like practice, we're just playing pickup. We don't really even verbalize the game too much. We just hang out, like you said, man. It's like a flow. It was a rock star tour. The buses was a party 24 seven. But I took notes from them, I'll be honest, you know, like, I watched how hot sauce moved the crowd when everybody stood up and I tried to emulate that. AO could have played in the league. AO was like a good player, you know what I mean? Like He was like a little lesser Rayford Austin. He was solid, yeah. he knew the game. Yeah. AO knew the game. Yeah, he knew the game. Yeah. He had a couple little tricks in there, but then when his cat when he had when he had to get the A to B, a bucket yeah. or a showmanship, he had all that mixed in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, yeah. He was like one of the best passers I ever seen. Like lobs over the. Sh- I learned a lob game from him. He throw the bounce lob. You know what I'm saying? I really, t- I took notes. I'm a hybrid of all my big bros, right? Skip only played. I only played like five games with Skip. He was on his way out. He had to leave it because the politics of the league, right? So he had to stop being a street ball player. But 
when I did wash them, I was like, yo, I took skip spin move, still use it today. But yeah, shout out to the big bros. I think um, it was just a special group. Them dudes were talented. They played so much street ball. Outside of N1, they played exhibition street ball games also before the tour really got going. So they kind of just knew the cadence of it. But that's what always, you know, there was a myth that it was fake, right? There's a, there was a myth that like An One wasn't real, like it was staged. I don't mm -hmm. know if you know, like there was a there was a fan narrative. There was a fan narrative that it wasn't real basketball, that it was like staged or whatever from the mixtapes. You never heard that back in the day. How do you how do you how do you stage that though? They thinking like globe trotters. They thinking it's too good. So it's dope. You it's it's dope that we go right into this. So I watch you these days. I, I'm a I'm a fan. I love your page. I love everything you're doing on socials, bro. Man. Keep doing your thing. Hey man, me? bro, I'm so humble, man. It's nah, crazy. I'm just man. it's real <laughs> shit because you got real fans out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I watch I watch Bone. I watch Bone Collector. Yeah. I, I watch I watch bro. my favorites. There's only like two or three of y'all. I love Filet. Shout to Filet. Shout filet to be filet. breaking it down. Very funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, when I'm watching your footage, you know the, the my favorite thing. It's the non-believers. The niggas that's sitting at home right now looking at Professor when he come on the court like, man, this love, this the Professor? That, that is my favorite player. Yeah. You know why? Because he want it. Yeah. He want it. He, he's the one that started that narrative. You know that, right? That player, that player I'm talking about, yeah. that's the Professor? Man, this nigga ain't. And yeah, that's, that's yeah. the one you want. <laughs> so I want to thank, I don't want to call y'all haters. I just want to. Are you non-believers non out there? Non-believers, I like that. Man, keep subscribing, <laughs> keep pulling up, keep 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 wanting to play D, right? We out here, it keeps bro. this man sharp. You know what I'm sure. saying? Sure, I know. Basketball, funny game, right? Yeah. Man, you, we go to the nearest high school over here. We gonna some dude gonna be like, oh, nah, some people ass. want it. Some people <laughs> want it. I love it. All y'all who want yeah. smoke, please pull up. Yeah. Please pull up. That's what we're here for. I feel like I was my. I feel like all, so. The funny thing is, them trash talker video. We made the first trash talker videos. Crazy, bro. My homie Rob over here, he was there. But uh, yeah, we pulled up and dude was talking crazy while I'm playing other games. Some dude just talked crazy, like mad disrespectful, right? And so I'm talking to him, and then next thing we know, he was like, uh, you know, all you got to do is watch your hips. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to it. Just watch your hips. So I was like, all right. I was like, we should play after. He's like, all right, let's get it. So we ended that game. I was like, all right, you want to play, right? You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, all right, 100 bucks or whatever. So I was oh, like, you I, put some bread up. Yeah, I was like, I don't even gamble, my bro. I said, if you beat me, I'll give you 100 bucks. Whatever. Let's get it. Oh, shit. And so, yeah, and, and that's the thing. I was trying to make it one way. You know, it's for the money. The game don't ever end sometimes. Right. You know what I mean? so, <laughs> Run it back. Hold on. I so got bread down, right? This game didn't end either. Check Damn. it out. So we get going. Dude's a little overweight, right? This was actually a silly game. Some of the dudes are nice, right? This dude was silly. Mm. So we get into it, we play, scored a couple, and then uh, one of the plays that go between the legs, no contact, splat, oh. hit, the, hit the cement, but no contact. You know it's the best one, right? You don't touch him. Right. <laughs> so we fell like mad hard, like the earth might have shut. I'm like, damn, this dude, all right? Like, so we play, hit the shot, but then the next couple plays, or, or two plays later, I did something. I like up fake, bop, between my legs, between his legs, snatch. But he did, he did, he broke his shoulder. Oh, shit. He, he like threw his shoulder out of the socket. So the game had to end, right? He was out of there, but people was loving it. They was, you know what I'm saying? They're cracking up. So I was like, hey, man, no personal, you all right, bro? It's all good, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. So we get back, and um, we try to edit the video, but I was trying to figure out uh, how to explain why I played this overweight dude because people always that's what I always want to say like you don't play nobody You know what I'm saying you need to they think I'm supposed to play uh, Steph Curry, you know that online narrative silly, right? right. so uh, We told a story on the edit why we matched up with dudes, but that's what I learned like you got to tell a story You know what I mean? So it showed we got there at this time. What's up? We just got to Laguna We're about to hit the street, you know play right here boom 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 Showed subtitles, right? Now subtitles, everything, right? Dude it's, talking. It's, it's the wave, though, bro. Everything you're saying is in how I watch TV. Yeah. So look, keys going. I told the story. Led up to, you know, it was like it was like a movie. We couldn't have wrote a better script, right? The bad guy talking all the trash. We get in the game, crossed him up. Game couldn't even end. Broke his shoulder. But then when we titled it. We're like, what do we title? So we put we did all the right things about YouTube today. We didn't even know. I was like, it was for some money, throw the money in the title. I think he's like a heckler. Is he a heckler? He's not a bad, he's a, he's a, he's a trash talker. You know what I'm saying? So he came with that word, right? That's like everything now. 
And then we put all together. The thumbnail was like when he was getting slid, you know, mid crossover, he's sliding. Zoomed in on that. I was like, let's see how that do. That's kind of funny. And then, and then it woke up like 5 million views, you know what I mean? But, but that was the first like trash talker video for YouTube. And then I was like, damn, we just got to do every vid like this if we could do it. Because it's got to be real, you know what I mean? Some of them dudes be faking it. They pay somebody. To, uh, a couple dudes got exposed. They like pay somebody to come tr talk trash or whatever, be controversial. Really? Yeah, but they, they're missing wow. the essence of like the story, right. how it gets those down. And then, you know, if you're an audience, you can feel if it's real or not. So... Get a great offer courtesy of KG Certified and BetMGM, the king of sportsbook. Sign up using bonus code KG1000 and you'll get back up to $1,000. Yes, $1,000 in bonus bets if you do not win your first bet. BetMGM's parlay specials, daily odds boost, and fan-friendly promos make it the best place to bet on all of your favorite sports. Download the BetMGM app today or go to BetMGM.com and enter your bonus code KG1000. Yes, KG1000. Nothing beats a W at BetMGM. Anyway, that's so how you, So you think that's the true essence of uh, my next question is, yeah, bro, you jumped right into YouTube after the A M one tour. Yeah. And I know there had to be like a fog because y'all mastered and y'all was on top of the hill with, with everything that you could be when it comes to at least uh, street ball. And I felt like y'all hit, hit a max. Um, yeah that Anwan benefited from, and that I think left, left, the taste in all, left, left the taste for all of us wondering what happens to everybody. I'm still wondering what's, where, where's, you know, uh, one, one of my favorite, Kareem Reed, yeah, but nobody knows who this, uh, and if you're from New York, you definitely know who Kareem Reed. Kareem Reed played uh, at Arkansas, left hand, and he has a name. Best uh, kept secret. Best kept secret. <laughs> yeah. Kareem Reed is one of the dopest. I always felt like Kareem Reed could have been on the N one tour, but I always wondered where Boog, you remember Boog, you remember AO, Ali Mo, like all these, my favorite, my favorites. And um, I'm saying this to say that, again, when I first came in here, man, I am fascinated on your intervention on how you're just continuing to ride the wave, reinvent yourself. And then all of a sudden, um, N one tour is over, you hit YouTube. And I hear what you just broke down uh, to us. That was later, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's your script, though. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And now everybody knows you for your script. I'm watching others follow your way, mm -hmm. right? Um, is, this, is, this, is this the structure to be the godfather and have all these underlines of what you put out and people copying? Is this, this what you want to add on to, your, to this whole thing? Are you... Are you, are you raising your hand saying, I'm the godfather of uh, street ball? Because you should. Well, it's humbling, man, coming from a goat, first uh, off. I'm from this. <laughs> I, 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 you know, we curated our lives on this. So yes. when I see how you carrying yeah. it, bro, you, that's what, yeah. Humble, yeah, bro, real humble. Shit. No, I, think, I think for me, to be honest, um, it's crazy you talking about how and when and I started YouTube. So it actually was an accident, if I'm honest, right? I didn't, I, there was a few things, there's some genius in there later, I'll tell you. But so I go broke, you know what I'm saying? And one ends. Oh, wow. The same day, we got hung up over here to Sports Illustrated. We on the cover of Sports Illustrated. The same day, the corporate handed me that. I remember me and Main Event, we're standing right there. They gave us the Sports Illustrated. And I remember I got a little chills, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's crazy. But then some corporate, I can't remember who it was, they tapped me on the shoulder and they said, hey, the company's just been bought out. We want to make you guys aware. And, uh, you know, everything's good, though. You know what I'm saying? It's bought out. But, you know, we don't know about business. So we're like, they good? We still hooping? Like, what you mean? Yeah, yeah, tours, yep. Just new ownership, you guys will feel the same, you know, but they, of course, ain't, ain't gonna give it the real, you know, when there's a new owner, new coach, new whatever, that's always a new everything. Switch up. So there's a couple years left on the ESPN deal, so they still do it for a couple years, but it wasn't the same. We, we're not doing hardly any overseas. You know, we used to tour year round. Yeah, Asian, Europe, uh, the islands, you know, Philippines, I mean, it's crazy. Australia, we do a whole month in Australia every year. So. We're doing barely any overseas games, but we're still doing the summer tour, but like less money put in. And then after, uh, I think that was 06, but then after that, like the, the TV show would even spend less. Remember, it used to be on yeah. like 50 times a week. It used to be on fucking ESPN every, man, listen. Bro, we're getting more spin in, outside, the of, the top, outside of the top teams. Straight it's up. crazy. Nike biting off of it. He got their yeah. real players come in and do the, yeah. uh, 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 right, right? Yeah. Right. So uh, it ends. We don't even get a call to re-up the contract. It's just mm -hmm. over. 
It's like, dang, bro. Like, in my mind, you know, I'm, be, I'm a kid. I'm a kid in a candy store. I think my money's never going to end. We think that's going forever. It's the next Globetrotters, but bigger. You know, we like, we good. Ends out of nowhere. Same year, I start YouTube because I'm like, I don't even know what's next. But I know this was free distribution. I had been on YouTube since like this. You know, started 04. I was already uploading vids about 05, 06, trying to flood the market to get bookings outside of Anwan. Oh, okay, I got you. Who put you on that? Are you just, it's just the wave. You see we went to, around? I remember in the UK, a bunch of dudes ran up on us, a bunch of kids like, Professor, you know what I'm saying? They was like, uh, we saw you on YouTube. I used to say, thanks for checking out the show. You know what I'm saying? But they're like, no, we saw you on YouTube. So I'm like, YouTube? What the hell's that? You know what I'm saying? And I watch it. I'm like, oh, this is in other countries. So at the time, I'm like, this is TV. You know, I was talking like back in the day. I'm like, this is free distribution. TV, and then I saw they would rip our highlights from the show. They got a hot sauce mix, a professor mix, AO mix. They all doing like five million a week, something like that. Back then, you just type in basketball, one of my vids would pop up, wow. just basketball on YouTube. Wow. So I'm like, oh, this is something. So then when it all crashed, uh, they started paying you for your views. You know, YouTube AdSense, the Google AdSense came a thing. So I started my own page and then tried to uh, just flood the market from there. But I didn't go viral actually till. 2013, yeah. But that download of that whole game and figuring out was a real part of life. Yeah, and you know, I stayed in it. Like my homies, uh, the, the OGs, they were, we're all on social. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't view it the same. We're all, we all getting girls off there too. You know right. what I'm saying? Start right. out with the dating right. sites. Right. And then you, start, you, start, somewhere. you start using MySpace and Facebook for that gotta too. Gotta start somewhere. So, you know, you come into the city, you could even search by city, where they at, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you can get into that. <laughs> but, but yeah, we're looking at it like that, but I did know the notoriety, a lot of fans on there. So I'm like, we might as well post the highlights. Like, this is our own, you know, because I saw Am Am One had their own website. So I'm like, why can't this be a website, an extension of your website? So I start pushing people to my website, push people to the YouTube. This is in like 05, 06. So then, um, yeah, 2009 rolls around. I went broke. I had to sell my jersey. I sold my jerseys on eBay. I sold like 50 to 100 of my jerseys on eBay. I don't even know why I kept them. Probably for that moment, you know what I'm saying? But they were going, they was going for like a thousand or more because before the internet, you couldn't keep the narrative in a different country. You don't know the news narrative of like Europe or Australia. So they think, and I want still a list. We on, you know what I mean? So off the of YouTube, I'm getting a D, you could get a DM back then. So I would get bookings and uh, I'd go play like a random and one game all the way until 2010 and one Angola and one uh, Ecuador and one. Russia, you know what I mean? Just and one game, because it was it was everywhere still, and there's a lot of places and one didn't go. They only went to where the retail stores were at. So I'm doing that, and then uh, you know, it's cool. Another company tried to ramp up and do what and one did. It was called Ball Up. It didn't it didn't didn't uh, do the same as and one because I think the change it need to be on social. You know what I'm saying? They were still trying to do TV on Fox or whatever, but my YouTube is going off in the background, and then. Shout out to my homie Rob Monroe over Shout here. Shout out to Rob. He came up with the, the cosplay to Spider-Man basketball. Mm. And at the time, you know, coming up in the 2000s, everything was gangster, right? Yeah. Like, you got to be hard. You know, the 3XT, you know what I'm saying? Everything, like, value pro yeah. clubs, right? The way you talk, right. Every, everything, right? Now right. everything's about mental health and being, you, you know, whatever. But that it was like, man, if he wasn't hard, you wasn't cool. So when it, when it came with cosplay, even when he first told me, I was like, oh man, you got cosplay? Like, I'll, I'll see Batman and Spider-Man in the theater, but I don't like, I don't know about being it, you know what I mean? And, but we did think it would be funny. So he picked Spider-Man, cause he's like a cover of the whole body. And uh, this thing would be funny, you go play people one-on-one -on -one at the park, just see what happened. And lo and behold, we didn't realize though, it's like prank, it's sports, it's humor. It's wow factor, it, you know what I'm saying? All that, so that's how you go viral. You need like five things in one or whatever. But we literally went to the park for like 20 minutes. He, he showed me how to use a DSLR, he filmed it or whatever. You know, it's God's plan. I don't think I missed, I don't think I missed a shot. I couldn't even see in that joint. I don't I think- say, Can you breathe in the mouth? No, barely, barely. I only got 20 minutes before I pass out. So I was in there literally 20 minutes. I never missed a shot. You didn't practice? Did you trip. practice in the mall? I didn't even get I didn't even get warmed up. Damn, I didn't even stretch. Y'all just damn. Y'all just went out here and just ah, let's get it. Ah. I put on one time. I put on one time. I actually messed with some little kids. I was like, we good, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was it. But went out there, you know. Not that the competition was thick or anything, but still, you know, the moves it was all flawless. Never missed a shot. I edited the vid. I learned to edit on my own from a fan. A fan who was making those professor mixes on YouTube. I actually called. He lived in San Diego taught me how to edit. But I'm broke, you know, I'm in the hustle. So I edited that vid. I took like three hours. 
back then, you, I didn't know how to compress a video, so you upload on YouTube, take like 15 hours. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I go to sleep, but we had a tour game in Chicago the next day. So I go to sleep on it, just left the computer on, woke up, the joint's still uploading. So I'm like, oh man, whatever, I'm gonna leave the computer on all weekend, I'm broke anyway, it crashes, I don't care. So I left, by the time I got to LAX, the joint had uploaded, and I was like, it said like 350K views, by the time I just got from the valley to LAX. So I'm like, what? Because you used to get an email notification. By the time I got on the plane, it was already a million views. And then by the time in Chicago, it was like two or three. The end of the week is like six or seven. But at that time, if you got six or seven million views, that's the same as like 50 mil. You know right. what I'm saying? That's right. it, Cause the, the algorithm's friendlier today. Right. So good, good Morning America, everybody picked it. NBC, everybody it. Everybody Sports Center, it. CNN, everybody blowing up, whatever. And that was like the true viral video. We got a million subs in like one day. Wow, wow bro. So you got a download <laughs> of social media one-on-one. Like, it was crazy. All in like a crash course. Yeah, he showed me how to do it. We just went and did a trial. We looked at the top viral video. You might have been on. I don't know. We looked at the top viral videos of 2011, 2012. We're like, what could we do? You know what I'm saying? We tried to make it like, you know, not ratchet or something, you know, fam friendly. And uh, yeah, joint went off. I learned a lot about YouTube from that. And just always, been, you know, been in with the, uh, the younger people, the people at the top of the social media game. I knew other people at that time who were making 10K a month. So I was trying to like, emulate their thing. And then also just trying to be innovative, you know? Some people wonder like, why are you dressing at cost? Like, that's crazy, but it only breaks. You know, Spider-Man Basketball is the number one web series of all time on the Still, internet. That's fire. It has over a billion views. That's fire, and then we did a Space Jam three or four years ago and that, the number two. And nobody really talked, nobody's keeping track, but it makes a lot of money, it goes off. So, and it's impactful for the kids and stuff too, so. Um, but I like to trash, you know what I'm saying? I, I like it all, but I know what you're saying. Like the, the trash talk is more like what I'd like to go do. Yeah. So what's next for you, bro? Like what do you, like, what do you have next? in your chamber? Yeah, yeah. what do you have uh, working on? A lot of goals, but you know, uh, try to blow the platforms out, right? I don't think you ever switch gears if you get a 20 million social following. I don't think I really, in the old school, everybody's like, well, what are you gonna do after this? I'm like, well, I mean, I don't think I leave the platforms alone. Kevin Hart and Will Smith going crazy on the social, and they already mainstream as can be. So for me, uh, merging, getting back into acting. I actually moved to LA 06. I was a lead role in a basketball movie. I had like an A-list cast and everything, but it didn't come out, it got shelved. You know, back in the day, movies get shelved more often. There's less media opportunities. They didn't get that box office release they wanted or whatever. So try to get back into acting. I saw you were with Adam at a little cameo hustle. Uh, but trying to get back into that in a, in a more prominent way. I've been doing it for 20 years, but you know, it's like cameo, like you, right? Cameo here, line here, this there. I was inspired though, how you kind of like merge in there. You're like a real role, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Adam's other movie and yeah. moving forward. So trying to get back into acting, but just trying to explain the, the platforms and uh, be a little part of the, the culture combo, more of a part. That's why I like doing podcasts and trying to get more involved. Because for years I was kind of like scarred by the industry from the and one, you know what I mean? And so I didn't really like collab or mix it up with folks. When digital went crazy by myself, I'm like, all right, cool. We're just gonna stay over here and do it. But um, yeah, you know, and then looking into streaming, you know what I'm saying? Doing something, a revamping a global street ball tour would be fire. It's not easy to pull off. It takes a lot of time. So we're exploring that. And then uh, trying to make a movie of my life. I was just about to say, man, would you ever do a movie on your life or a TV series on your life? A thousand percent. We're working on it now. Right. Would you ever do a podcast? Working on it now. Yeah. That's why you asked me. I'm like, man, we got a lot of goals. I'm trying to figure out which one to say. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you can see the people in the back of the room. I know you see your man and kind of people working with you, the people that you don't recognize or the people that can actually help you with that. That's off topic. That's when we turn this camera off. We talk about that later. Sure. But yeah, sure. I'm going to help you with that. I'm a huge fan oh, of you what you're doing, bro. Humble, man. I got to ask you a couple more. Um, yeah. What's up with the, uh, when, when are we going to get the Professor merch line? I'm waiting on it, bro. Oh, the merch is out here. It's globalhooper.com. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we're going to pump it more, you know what I mean? I okay. think like, you know, it's always hard. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to build my team and expand it. No doubt. You know what I mean? Because no like, doing what I do now, it takes a lot of time, focus, and effort. You're a machine though, bro. I, yeah, so like, so I think I would always want to do things more, like promote the merch, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Do all this stuff, put more effort behind it, but be spread thin, so. Right now, I'm really just working on mastering my team and expanding so that uh, it's more, <clears throat> we can put more effort other places to do bigger things. Gotcha. That's really the goal. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Let me ask you this. Um, yeah. Are you watching today's game? Oh, the game? The NBA game? Oh, you saying just in general? Just in general. Yeah, of course. Of Who course, do you love yeah. in today's game? Who you love to turn on TV? Who I love? Long day, long day, I'm coming here for the yeah. watch a game, or I want to go to a game. Who would you love to sit and just watch for 48 minutes in today's game? Or a couple? A couple My favorite players. two players to watch, Probably Kyrie and Steph. Mm. Probably my favorite two players to watch. But Bron's right here. You know, I go to Lake. I go to at least, least five games a year. We sit in courtside. You know what I'm saying? So I've been watching. I've been rooting for the Lakers living here 20 years. You know what I mean? Just because we're here. Uh, so I'm inspired by a lot of the greats. But yeah, I think if I'm if I'm just sitting there, Steph and Kyrie is my favorite to watch. Steph Most Ky- entertaining. Steph and Kyrie. Yeah. Are you a Portland Trailblazers fan? Being from Oregon. You know what's crazy? I never was, but I like, I was a fan of Rod Strickland, but I was so consumed with MJ. And then when Iverson came, that was the first player I could actually like, you know, can't play like Jordan, you know what I'm saying? But when Iverson came, I was all AI, but my pops like a diehard Blazer fan, so I'm always keeping up with them. And then Dame, Dame's so good lately. And then we even did a vid together. So that, so that was really dope of him to give us the time. But I'm a Dame fan too. Gotcha. So to a degree. Can you sit there and just watch the game for the basketball of it? Or are you programmed to when Kyrie brings it up, you check in the flow of the dribble, you check in the timing, you count the dribbles, you watching the behind. Or, or, can you just watch the game normal? Or are you a computer to download every guard that's coming out here and what they're on? We're doing both simultaneously. Mm. Simultaneously, I think. I feel like you can learn something. I always Absolutely. am learning. That's the thing. I tell people today, I'm a, I just turned 39. I'm trying to get better, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I'm always learning. 39, bro? I just turned 39. Bro, you do not look fucking 39, man, thank bro. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying to you, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No weird shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, like, real uh, shit. So you know what's crazy about being young and you said you was an 8-year-old and 12-year-old? Bro, that's investment. As you get older, mm-hmm. you still look like you fucking 30 or 20-something, bro. Let's go. And you look like you in... <laughs> In dope shape. You hey, know humble, what I'm man. I'm trying you to work, play. You work out every day? Uh, I train a lot. Not every day, but so I uh, I go to that, that sports rehab spot in Encino I was yeah. telling you about twice a week. Okay. But then I'm a runner. I actually run like this. I put on a dope playlist. It's like this. The older I get, though, it's it's cardio, too, but it's all about movement. I feel like that longevity. Because some people don't know it's a myth. Some people say I was in my prime on and one. They don't, they don't, it's just a myth. They're saying that because it was NBA arenas and Big, you know, we playing full court. My quickness never digressed. I've never gone, been on the down slope of at least speed and quickness. I've been in better cardio shape in different seasons, right? Playing the CBA. I used to be in the CBA and all that. But, um, yeah, so I run like three or four times a week along with that. And then I only play like once or twice a week. Okay. Because you got to conserve the mind. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I only play if we're rolling. I'm not, not running no pickup. Got you. I'm not this phase to no, got get injured. You know what I'm no, saying? Stunt your whole thing. So I don't do tournaments. It's got to be for our, at least an event we're covering or a vid that we're shooting or whatever. Would you ever do the professor invitational and do like a street ball outdoor something? I freaking love that. Yeah. Let's talk about that. I love that. <laughs> I never thought of a one off tournament. Everybody says bring and one back, but it's so difficult, man, because like you need. The YouTubers, it's the wave, it's new. It's the, yeah, it's the you new know, shit. I like new. I it's like new being shit. on the new. You know what right. I'm saying? And and also, it needs a big platform. You got to be on like Netflix or Amazon or something. If, if it's not that, how are you gonna captivate? Because now people got their own, their own networks, right? Everybody got their own networks. So it's when like, it's hot, they will come. It's like big money to get the names. Yeah, exactly. And Price. and one was a pro level thing. You know, people who are, who got names now, they're not pro, like YouTube, not that there's not some nice YouTubers, right? But it's a college level. It's not like a pro level. Like, and one of the original group, we played D1 and D2 overseas teams, not only win, but also turn it out. So you gotta be good everywhere you go to do it. So it's like finding the right guys, but it was the best of the Drew, back in the day, it was sick when it was a MVP of the Drew League. Maine and them were killing the Rucker. AO was the best in Philly. So the talent, you'd have to get the right group. You know what I'm I remember the N1 guys wanted s- some smoke with the NBA guys. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? We should talk about this because there's been yeah. some weird narratives going around. Nah, um, you know, Steph and I, Stephon Marbury and I, 
Uh, you should be really, really, really close, like best friends close. I love Steph. He's dope. And, uh, you know, Steph would have, yeah, we would, we would be in restaurants, and these guys would run up on us in, in restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Who, like main event? Main event, yeah. half man, half amazing. Yeah, yeah. All these guys, uh, McNasty. I ran into these guys and they wanted to go hoop. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we can, yeah, we hoopers too. Yeah, we hoopers I love too. that. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I thought, I think um, some of the uh, N1 guys thought that, um, I, first off, I don't know what they thought, but I thought from a point that they didn't think that we came from the same lines in which they came from. And yeah. I, want, I, I, was, I, was, I was into showing the difference between N1 and the league. Mm -hmm. I was into that. You I mean, there's a saying? difference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's and, a I, and I want to show y'all the difference. Yeah, I mean, saying? we knew what it was. I mean, nah, no, 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 nah, I, I would say this. Nah, not yeah, all, nah. y'all. Nah. <laughs> I, nah, I looked at it different, that. right? I'm, yeah. I'm a young, I was just happy to be nah. on a global platform to play street ball. Yeah. I wasn't necessarily on that. My well, big bros, I think a lot of them, some of them probably felt like, hey, absolutely. they want to smoke. see. They want to see them. We're running them out. But other dudes were probably just like, hey, I couldn't get the opportunity. You know what I mean? So I know even me, right? Mm. Tried to make the league. I played in the CBA. I put up 27 and 10 in the CBA, Man, but that's like- not, That's not light. You gotta go get that. You gotta go get it. Facts. And the politics, I don't like blaming the politics though. I would say I never was ready mentally, like to go to the league, gotta be real. You know what I'm saying? My aim, even these days, is to be the most entertaining. Being the best, the, you made the, the league is the stamp. You know what I'm saying? So I think, Making the league is tough. I think for a lot of my guys or the OGs, they run at Rucker versus league dudes. And so in their mind, they're like, hey man, you want it with me? I got you anywhere. But it takes a lot, right? It's the professionalism. Are we, are we training right? Are we year round staying consistent? You gotta have the full package to be in the league. I do think uh, dudes were immensely talented. What I was addressing was some people think uh, there's, there's not one consensus of what level and one was. Like, how good was it, right? Some dudes would say, like, even today, some dudes are like, Professor, you need to play Kyrie one on one. And it's like, like, that, like that's a narrative. Other dudes be like, oh, this that dude's garbage, man. Dude can't play nowhere. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, Skip to My Lou was real deal. Yes. Skip to My Lou yep. was a real fucking deal. I don't yeah. care if you played him on what surface you played him on, black top or in the gym. Real deal. He was real deal. Yep. A great point guard in the yeah. league, great point guard on, on, on street ball. Like, real shit. Like, you can't, you, like, I don't know what people are, I don't even know where they're getting this narrative from that shit is fake. I don't know how you fake, how you fake basketball. You can't, you know you what I mean? Can't fake but, basketball, you know, I had bro. heard it so much by the time I showed up and watched my first Anwan game as a fan, even I was mind blown because, like, it was kind of flawed. Like you said, it was polished, you know what I'm saying? Man, you, listen. <laughs> It's a myth till you get your ass out there. It's yeah. different when you, hey, you talking that shit sitting over there. Now you got the professor in front of you. You finna get it straight A. Like, yeah. here you go. Here's class served right here. And that's when I think everybody needs to go through that. That's why I wanted to play the N1 guys. It wasn't even about. It would have been lit, bro. Be, listen, bro. they wanted it. it. I, I'm a professional. Bro. Wherever I go, everybody's looking at me like the ticket. I don't get a day off for being the ticket. I got to show up and be the ticket. At, so you know what? Cool. Where y'all want to go hoop at? But we'll go right now. We was in Justin's and we was about to, man, it was like, man, it was like 15 of them. Yo, we was about to scrap in. Oh, we I wasn't even to, there, right? No, no, oh, okay. we wasn't there. But we was in Justin's and we was about to, not, it looked like some shit, yo. It, it just looked, got verbal. It looked crazy, man. It yeah. was all on top of Steph. And I came over like, whoa, and then we just got out of line because, you know, we, 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 we got similar paths. Yeah, you know? yeah. We, they got guys, we got, you know, guys is guys. You know, we all out here. Yeah. And uh, I yeah. think, yeah, I think there's a difference, right? Y'all, you, you and Steph are goats. So, like, there's levels in the league, too. But they wanted it, though. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, and, so. I, and I think, uh, you know what I you know what I personally feel like? I feel like some of my OGs undervalue how dope just and one was. Because, like, look. There's levels to the game, right? We, we know the NBA is the top of the top, and I think it's hard to get there, right? Some dudes didn't get the opportunity. Maybe they weren't even fit to be there. Maybe they were tweeners. Maybe they weren't professional enough. Maybe they didn't lift weights enough. But they always talk about who's a legend and who's not. They, and they feel, like, they feel like you had to be stamped outside of N1 to be a legend. But Gosh, I'm like, Those bro, guys were fucking legends I think in so. my eyes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, bro, that's you, what I'm saying. Yeah, bro, that's street ball thing. is not light. You, okay, that's the league is one thing, but yeah. street ball is not light. Yeah. For anybody who ain't never played fucking street ball, mm -hmm. street ball is some of the most hard and most... It's, first off, street ball is um, intimidating as fuck. 
Oh, at the highest level, street ball. At the highest level, street ball. Some hoopers that play in the NBA can't play street ball. You understand? That was my thing. I feel like they were the best at what they did. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Because NBA players would play like Ricky Davis and then would play, and they they putting it work, right? We can't stop Ricky Davis. You know what I'm saying? Dude scores 60. But what would make anyone so lit is that it was a really high level, but also is just so, so much showtime seamlessly nice. in a high level game. Like AO playing, like, like not, I learned so easy. much. I feel like and one was legendary for the culture. Legendary, bro. Cause, Cause you could be a local legend. Like, like let's say you're just a, a legend at Rucker. That ain't like a culture. To me, I, when I say legend, I'm thinking that's in the culture global, it's stamped. So I feel like and one stamped a lot of dudes Facts. and that was an honor. They, they, they look at it more like, some of my OGs say like it's all about hood respect. If you didn't have the hood respect before you got there, you wasn't a legend and that's their view. But I'm like, I think they're undervaluing what happened, personally. Bro, you we're know? gonna look back on basketball and so. in the times of how the timeline go, and one basketball is gonna be always submitted and, and blacktop basketball again converted into NBA play is one of the most difficult conversions it would be similar to you go to Street Fighter and now they're telling you you got to box a certain way or go to MMA with these certain rules. You understand? Yeah. So it has a professional piece to it, but the creative way and where it comes from, that culture and, and in these lines of this neighborhood and my community, all this comes out of out of this imagination and into this art form that I get to come out here and display with a ball. People won't ever understand that. They never walked that path. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. So, so Agreed. I, I love what you're doing. Keep, keep Street Ball too, alive, man. bro. Um, let me ask you, man. Yeah. You know how you go to, you know how you go to school, and I'll go to the Steph Curry camp and learn how to shoot threes, or I'll go to the LeBron camp and learn, you know, fundamentals and skills. I'll go to Paul Pierce camp and all these other camps, right? Yeah. Who is going to throw a camp for all the kids that want to be street ballers? Where do you go and learn to snatch back? Sham God ain't out here at 55th. I don't see. St- I don't, see, I don't see nobody outside, actually. Yeah. So where can I go and, if I, if I ain't watching your videos, where can I go and learn all the street ball stuff? Where can I go learn that, Professor? For me, it was just about being a student of the game. Facts. You know what I mean? Today, kids right now. Kids right wanna now? Go, if they want to go learn your stuff and what you yeah. do, what would you go learn now? Well, I'm coming out with a program. Hey. It's going to be cro- Crossed Up University. Tee it up, God damn it. You know Say it again. Say Shameless that again. plug. Say that again. Say crossed again. Up University. It'll be crossedupuniversity.com. Right now, you go to crossover5.com and sign up. You get a free tutorial, Five Steps to the Perfect Crossover. And then when my program launches, you'll be notified. So that's on the way. But in general, though, you don't even need to pay, to be honest. Like, you get further lessons if you want with that. But just being a student of the game, now YouTube, you put that joint in slow motion. You put it at 25%. So what I always say, um, the main thing is to understand the footwork of the moves. So even when I, if I watch a move today and I rewind, I was like, what's that? You know, I rewind it. I gotta put that joint 25%. I gotta look at the footwork, see what's going on. And then when I take it to the gym, I just need to understand the footwork first, walk through it, jog through it. And then, you know, I might use it the next time I play, but, but you know, you, people gotta get their reps in and watch it. But I think uh, student of the game is key. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the greats. So you're true downloading it. Oh, it's super. like a new dance move. Bro, I learned a move from kid. It's I like saw a, a kid. It's like a new dance move. Yes. How yeah. long does it take you, depending on the, the severity of the move, how long does it take you usually to get a move down? You know what's so funny? That's how I know it's my gift. Like, sometimes I learn it. I go do it the next day. Uh, <laughs> sometimes. 24 that, hours? Now, 24 hours? Uh, sometimes. 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 It depends how, how wow, hard wow, it is, too. Wow. You know, sometimes I might bring it here, play it in a, a, you know, a 1v1 little workout setting off camera, and then bring it right to the game. But if I want to master, master something, it doesn't take a little time. You, you know processing saying? it the whole day? <sighs> I was like, I'm just saying, yeah. boom, you saw it, boom, okay, now you're talking to your girl. This is how I used to process it. I should see something, and I'm talking to somebody, but I'm like, really think about that I'm move. Like, ooh, ooh, your foot, foot, like, for sure, yeah, all day. It. Yeah, like, I right. do this all day. The crazy thing is, like, I'm trying to work, balance work, personal life. Like, my thing is so fun that I'm, t- I'm culturing my job 24 7. So, yeah, even down to being a student of the game, even now, I've seen a co- I actually got a couple heaters I'm trying to bring out, but yeah, <laughs> for sure, yeah. You think you can get a bucket in today's game? Get a bucket? Get a bucket. I hope so. No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to rewind that. Okay, okay, okay. If today's game, you playing with NBA players 48 minutes, can you get a bucket in today's game? Right now. Yeah, I would hope so. Right. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I know you can. I'm not saying I'm going to kill it, no. but, but maybe, though. <laughs> I'm getting moves on. I don't undersize yourself. 
No, I'm here's saying. the thing, though. People don't know this. We put this on record. I, I worked out NBA players. I've like been in said, a, yeah. a workout with the NBA players, and I couldn't be stopped going to the basketball. Facts. But I'm not, that doesn't mean like we step in a suit up for the Lakers and no. go, go berserk. No, but we dropped some cats. Well, we, we get, some we're getting some moves off. I spawn, I spawn a couple NBA players. Facts. I ain't gonna say their names. No, you gotta say their names. But like, I, like, oh, like literally the first time I ever got actually received, dog. Got played it. Yeah, ever played an NBA player was actually Daryl Armstrong. It's on video though. Okay. Between the in the crowd, you know what I mean? but was he giving it? You know, he wasn't playing D like he might if he was in the league. But you know, you gotta be ready. You know what I'm saying? But then I think also that's some underestimated too. Yeah, like I've worked out with NBA players and put in work. A lot of those know. guys <laughs> want to know how to incorporate some of that showmanship yeah, into yeah, the game and yeah. don't know how. Yeah, and you know that was the thing too. I think the fan viewpoint, like when during the mixtapes, there was like a fan viewpoint that all we do is tricks. It actually was a real game with the incorporated, but we were basketball players first. Right. Like I'm still a basketball player first. Right. So if you want to not incorporate in the game, it's kind of hard. I, I feel like you got to be good enough to gain the the trust of your coach as a basketball player before you could do it. Right. I mean, because if you come out there and they don't know you. you you doing a stiff leg right, and all right, these things. Right, it might just right, look crazy, right? right? right. And you turn it over one time, no trust, you know what I mean? Right. So I know, like, even taking notes from Skip, right? He was a street ball player, but he did all the regular, you know, he yeah. went to JUCO, D1, got drafted, incorporated the skit sometimes, you know what I mean? And today's game different, right? Like, Kyrie and them is, he said me, he, Kyrie been following me since high, he was little. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You're the influence on a lot of these young guys that's in our league in their games. <laughs> Yeah. Kyrie, I see him use a lot more sham guard shit. I seen Chris Paul use sham guard shit. Yeah. I seen you know Chris Paul be on the whole pick and oh, roll. I love that. Whole, I love that spin. Yeah, that like little yo-yo. When you pull it out, right? And yeah. when you're using it, right? Yeah, that's what I think. I think I think it's it can't take away from the squad. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be within the flow of the game. Like yep. times in transition. You look like Jamal Crawford or Kyrie. Like, if it takes away, it's no good. What's the use? You know Facts. what I mean? So I think basketball core. It is a sweat, it is competition, but it is entertainment. So I think it does have its place and its value. Um, but yeah, like like CP3, like you said, he come off the pick and roll, use it as a fake pass. You know what I'm saying? My pull, he might go tween. Right. You know what I'm saying? That Definitely could actually tween. be a great move if you know what you're doing. Right. Um, the execution. Oof. Yeah. So it just depends. You got to pick your spots, and I think you got to for the kids out there doing it. You got to be trusted as a basketball player first by your coach before you're gonna go into some trick bag and entertain the crowd. So yeah. I gotta say this because I'd like to think that I'm a universal sports lover. I love everything from fucking cricket to volleyball okay. to tennis. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cricket? I, listen, I wouldn't have thought you. <laughs> cricket, dog, when you get into it, has underlinings of baseball, but then has a whole nother, whole nother set of rules, can go for three, four days. It's, it's huge in other India, okay. other parts of the world, South Africa, all that shit, right? I'm a huge soccer fan. Have you noticed in Brazil that Brazil has had their version of like an N1 mixtape, but through soccer? Have you ever have you ever tapped into the street ball of soccer in Brazil or just the universal language when it comes to soccer and the freestyle? They call it freestyle. But if you if you watch it, it speaks, the harmony of it, the sounds, it it's it's obviously with the foot, but bro, it's it's the heartbeat of N1. Bro, you're super tapped in. Bro. I wouldn't have thought I you would even know that. I can't sit down and come talk to you. <laughs> you super I can't come sit down and talk to anybody yeah. about not being, y'all feel me? Yeah, there's a dude, so I am tapped into it. Um, I started to learn about it maybe 2015 or something. There's a dude who's like the GOAT, this dude, Sean Grenier. He's the kid with the braids? Yeah. Yep. So he had hit me about a collab maybe six, seven years ago. I really started to look into it. But yeah, like, it's funny too, because I did the Spider-Man, he did this. There was an Uncle Drew ver, you know what I'm saying? There's like an old dude version, but he's uh, watching, bro. He's inspired, but it's and he's wild. watching you. Yeah, yeah, it's wild, bro. They'd be on a street soccer. I remember somebody told me about 2015. I was like, street ball soccer, street go, soccer. Go pull that up and just watch. Real you, talk. Listen, because huge though. It's under the same, yeah. under the same things of of the harmony in which you're doing, or it comes from the same harmony. Yeah. Of what we're speaking on. Yeah, it's actually it's, wild. It's wild, but it makes sense too, right? Yeah. We both know on a global sector perspective soccer is like the sport but it has football. a street element like basketball yeah, and it's, then it's it got we don't get talked about street soccer yes. and of course it does yes. right because you got it's, it's the biggest sports of course it has a street element Facts. and you're right it's kind of like underground yeah it is it gets played in africa in these dirt fields it gets played yeah. in uh, uh at fincas in 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 in, in, in the spanish and latin world yeah on like a ball that's made out of clothes that's balled up into a ball yeah you know what i'm saying that's wild and those kids are doing 
man, listen, just pull up street soccer. Street soccer. It's the same Sean energy. Grenier. Facts, yeah. facts. Freestyle. It's funny, too, because they call street ball internationally. They call it freestyle, actually. And it kind of was birthed through and one. And, and it's funny because they actually really were the ones who just took the moves on. Like, you go over there, he ain't playing basketball. Dude in Japan, he dancing like Michael Jackson with the ball, he bounce on his head. I'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But developed like a whole culture. But yeah, it's funny, freestyle that word. But yeah, the street soccer is like nuts. Well, I'm watching tennis. Mm-hmm. I watch tennis. I love tennis. Shout what? out to tennis, man. Listen, That's crazy. watch tennis, bro. You're unassuming. No, I watch it. I, didn't, watch I wouldn't have thought you'd have been tapping. Oh, no, no, no. You know I'm, I'm, man, I watch everything. I think, I think of KG. I think of like the hard essence facts, of basketball. Facts. I'm here to do go tier. You I'm like <laughs> diversity. We, we on the wave too. You understand? You're versatile, bro. Yeah. So I'm watching one of my favorite players um, uh, in tennis, Monfique. He's a French player, and sometimes when he's serving, he'll be he'll start rhyming to himself. And then he'll go up and he'll assert about boom. People don't know what he's doing. They think he's talking to him. So they, they, it's over everybody's head. But Monfi. Bars? What is he, he'll have bars <laughs> as he's serving. Okay. Again, I'm uh-huh. watching sports and I'm watching just this N1 heartbeat underline of just what y'all have brought, bro. Monfi yeah. might go and jump super high in the air and, and, and do some shit that you don't normally see. In tennis, mm. he'll go up and spike the ball. He'll go up and hit the shit behind the back. He'll go between his legs, and this uh, it's a, uh, it's like a street tennis, bro. I can't. I gotta even... Google. I, I didn't even looked at that. Mon I gotta feet. get on the tube. Okay. Look it up. I gotta look up this that. This kid is he's he's just different on the tour. And you know, I'm not saying he's the best, but when I think of when I'm thinking of creative, when I'm thinking of when I'm thinking of N1, I'm thinking of the creative artistry mm. that's outside of this box right. that you put everybody at basketball right. players in, right? You start leaking over into these other, these other creative like influences. I'm just watching how that has felt like the carp, the carbon brand of that has been tapped in a little bit. And I'm watching how they try and incorporate it in in in, in tennis. I'm watching it being incorporated in soccer. Uh, fo- you know, football is a uh, football is as and football catch it boom first down type shit. They always had a swag with catching the ball one on one and shit. But I'm watching. I just. I, I'm, I'm making reference to parts in which I see and one other sports, which means to ask the question, could that style of artistry, obviously it can be, but I would love to see it in volleyball or in golf. Or in, <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like out of the, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like see, super out of the box. Bro, it's coming. It could. It is so crazy, too, because it actually it's funny. This actually reminds me of Dave Chappelle. He actually did his and one skit. You, you remember this? He did a skit with other sports being street ball. And it's funny. You mentioned tennis. Tennis was the ones they was joking. He did like between he was he was being silly. But it's funny to see. I, I, I want to say yeah, yes. Yeah, he but, did it. He's like, you ever seen these? Ant-? Bro, we was loving it on the bus. We was watching it on the bus. I got like, You ever seen these and one mixtapes? And then um. He was showing how like other sports doing it. He was clowning, but it's funny how like it's real though. It's actually real. Like the fact you said tennis, I'm like, whoa. But yeah, who knows? I mean, things that are out of the box go crazy nowadays, you know what I mean? It I'll, is. Hopefully. <laughs> are you um are you locked into the license business parts of everything? Uh only business? lightweight. Only lightweight. Are you into web three? Are you into, oh, you talking about on that look? Oh, talking yeah. about scanning I did yourself? A, I did an NFT. I know you've been, I yeah, know you've been, been scanned in, twice. I did an NFT in, drop as soon as it facts, came through facts, crypto.com, facts, funny facts, enough. Facts. You was in 2K, eh? Yeah. Uh, I actually did a mocap for, people don't even notice, I did the mocap for 2K, uh, 2K7 to 2K13 or 12 or yeah. something like that. I was actually, I am Kobe's facts. J, facts. LeBron's J. Never, I never went on record. I think it was in my contract not to, but you know, we had a decade out. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? But the funny hey, thing is, ah, we need to know that. Though. Yeah, no, the funny thing uh, is, though, download, they bro. always act like it wasn't our database. Because I was like, do you guys wipe the database? Or are you still working off what we did? Absolutely, they say. And that. somebody internally was like saying, oh, we do, it. we redid it, you know. But They're they, lying. But then, yeah, and then somebody was like, nah, he's like, that's the that's the same. Mo- I don't know. Run it, run the check. I don't know, but we did that AI. Run the check. I know you got you a lawyer out of all this whole little group. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a little search. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So, um, but no, but shout out to 2K. They always show love. No doubt. Shout uh, to 2K. No, I did live for a couple of years. Shout out to, you know, EA showed love too. But yeah, I, I do have a deal with 2K at the moment. Um, Would you do your own video game at some point to where you could feature street ball and isolate it from, basket, uh, isolate it from the NBA and make it all street ball? 
thousand percent. You can bow a motherfucker and cross somebody. And, Ooh, yeah. get your ass up and use a little more outdoor language. We need to bring back that NBA street was crazy. That NBA street. The next level. Volume two or whatever. They need to bring back the NBA street. I'm with that, bro. The professor prevents, presents NBA street or even just to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm. you know, it's about a lot of times it's about opportunity. You say, are you willing? I'm like, shoot, who we talk to? You know? Facts. <laughs> I told you, I'm going to say this again. There's some people in the back that you can't see that are in this other than your people. Those are some of the people to make yeah. some of this happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I think it could be due too. because I think like... Uh, 2K ran the market for a decade or more, more than a decade, I mean, 15 years. And they don't like really that. have a, a competitor. There's no competitor, but I think also there was some buzz in the marketplace about maybe a, something else coming up too. So who knows? You know, shout out to 2K. I do have a, a light deal with them. I'm not like in the game, but like it's a it's a it's a marketing you know promotional thing. If and, I was 2K, I would actually go out and bring characters to the game that could build and help the game progress. And I don't think that the game is just so NBA on the court. I think, you know, now with the ideas of bringing an out, like, look look at the dunk contest, right? Yeah, yeah. The dunk contest is now to the point where we are actually considering outside the NBA dunkers to come in and make it. So why wouldn't we, you know? I, I actually think that they need to put a one-on-one -on -one That'd be competition. That would be hard. But then you're going to have everybody with them. You know, I mean, it's one-on-one. -on -one. So if you don't understand... One on one, being embarrassed, embarrassing somebody, it's, it goes to and fro. But I think that that would bring another type of charge and spark to the league. And then, you know what I do? I do a crazy incentive. I do like a 20 million. I'll incentivize it. Bro, low key. I'll incentivize it. They, they might be hotter than the like. Like, if they, think of think of those Showtime boxing style one v one. You saw the uh, you seen the clip where Dr. J played Kareem in Vegas? Facts. Yes. Bro, yes. that that principle. I don't know if you that can get those concept. caliber players. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> right? Yeah, because I mean, we can't even get our best dunkers to the dunk in the dunk contest. Am, yeah. I, am I correct? Can't get them. So can't if get I got, them. well, I don't know, well, 20 don't million. Know 20, 20, 20, 20 million might like, change your mind on something. 20 we million. We got to figure out who the sponsor is. I know, yeah. we got the sponsor. Bet MGM on live. You know what I'm saying? They on line one. They yeah. got a huge purse. Ain't nobody bigger than Bet MGM. That yeah. shit. Yeah. Right. Y'all ain't bigger than Bet MGM. We are the bank. Fuck you mean. Right. Run it. You might need to headline it, bro. Man, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's do it together. Bro, let's run it. That'd be hard. You already know, bro. bro. Let's run it. It's crazy. We ain't saying no. Let's <laughs> run it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that dunk contest, too, though, I think... Um, you think I doubt, You think we're at the point where outside dunkers are better than some NBA dunkers? Yeah, I think it's been there. I think it's been there, actually, really? for a while. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So you think well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You think there's a guy on the street that could beat Zion in the dunk contest right now? Creatively? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow, that yeah. says a lot. But I will say this, though. I will say it's different when you get under those lights and you have that moment. That momentum. So, so a lot of them dudes aren't used to playing in front of 20,000. Mm. Uh, 20, you know what I mean? And then you obviously televise to everybody. So it gets a little bit different. But, yeah, I mean, the pro dunkers, you know, like my homie Arab there from back in the day. Oh, yeah, he used to just pause in the air and just yeah. look at you for a second. Yeah, like, like <laughs> bro. Was, Wait, like, where is he at? Is he... See, that was my that was my See, gripe with the, let's with do the it. Netflix let's do it. doc. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. You already right. We're the not. Netflix doc didn't show where dudes were at today. Man, let's do I it. I wanted I wanted to know like where the cast were at let's today. Do it. Let's but dudes do it. is out here. They on social. You know, I, yeah, I can show it. you where. But uh, but yeah, man, doing some of the outsiders like the pro dunkers. There's dudes like uh, Guy Dupree, mm. Guy Dupree, uh, Jordan Kilgannon, the white mm, dude. Yeah, uh, I've heard of him. Who am I forget? I'm forget. He's on the game now. He has a license deal with 2K, actually. Yeah. He has a whole. Yeah. And then like like my homie, even right here, my homie DZ, but like people been in the game for 20 years. They was doing like pro dunk. Like them dunk contests been elevated. The skill of the dunks been elevated crazy. And like you said, oh, Zion's special. Some dudes are special, right? Yeah. I mean, they, they, they compete with the pro dunker. So would they win? I think they have the skills to, I think playing in, uh, performing in front of 25,000. Is always different, right? People can talk all the crap they want, but you know, when you get on those lights and you just got that moment. It's like, dude, here it is, right very, now. You know what I'm saying? So very much can so. they pull it off? I think, I think it could be special, though, honestly. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we should do so. Yeah, put it out there, right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But I think even the league, though, I think they were always scared about protecting the the integrity of the league, letting them, you know, like they didn't want to let out. They probably don't want to let outsiders in there because then they don't want it to take away from the NBA. But I think like if they make it hosted by the NBA, it's still the biggest platform out there. And then also like maybe each player could bring their own dunker to the table or something like that. But I do think, uh, or you do the amateur contest in the NBA and then they face all or something like that. 
I think the league is at a point where our dunking and the artistry behind dunks, I think, the, I think outside the league is ahead of the league in creativity. Yeah. yeah. And then we got, the, yeah. let's just keep it 100. Not everybody is enthused or want to participate in the NBA dunk contest. So guess what you got to do? You got to start going to look at options of other options that can actually make this what it is. The dunk, the dunk contest used to be our crown jewel crazy. of creativity when it came to people who can walk through air. And that, and that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> now we got, we don't even have that competition or we don't even have that level of competition of our best dunkers competing against each other. So I would say, why not entertain the world? If the world wants to show us their creativity, if the Jordan, uh, forget the kid's name, what'd you Kill call it? Kill Gary. If yeah. he can come to the league and give us the, 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 the 390 or whatever he did, the 760, 80, whatever. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see it. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm all for the best dunkers and seeing them perform under the lights. Me too. And, and you know, it's still the NBA platform. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They gonna rock NBA The league going to control everything. Guess what? It might even get these kids a, a license to 2K or get them deals out of this whole thing. But yeah. I don't see it as a bad thing. And it might encourage some of these NBA players to get off their seat. Get back involved. Yeah, that was the thing. Um, I actually promoted. I was actually on the promotion for the NBA dunk contest mm. this year, interviewing all Mac McClung and all those guys before it was going down. And right. I actually talked to the dudes internally who run the dunk contest. Right. And they're frust they were frustrated because oh. that was their whole gripe. You, pr you probably know just like I do. No doubt. Shout out to Jay Gill, who runs that thing. No but doubt. they couldn't get the best player. They tried to get Zion. They tried to get Ja. They tried to get dudes. And like if they don't get them now, they definitely ain't getting them five years. You know what I mean? Like while they're younger or whatever. Or, or still open for it before they're too goaded or where they feel like too goaded to do it. So they're frustrated. So, yeah, I feel like if the NBA, they should open it up because if, if, if the goats of Duncan in the NBA aren't going to do it, then we're always subjected to, you know, lesser name. Why, why not open it up and make it add value to it however you can? Facts. You know what I mean? Because, let's man, if Z think if Zion was in the dunk contest, Jaw was in the dunk contest, Mac McClung, like, and then whoever else, I'm, I'm probably forgetting some beasts. You know what I'm it's, saying? It's, it's going to be some young players that we don't even know their names yet. And that's how they come and get in there. Exactly. You know exactly. I mean? But the stakes could be higher. But I do think that that pro, it's, it's not enough incentive. Like you said, a $20 million spot. Right. If they had something crazy like that. Start getting everybody to come out there. Eh? More people. I don't know if everybody, but more people. I got to ask you this. And this is kind of my last question. Your all-time starting five, NBA, league. All time, all time, five. starting five. We coming out here on the court. Yeah. This is who you got with you. Yeah, you can put yourself in it. <sighs> nah, I ain't gonna put myself in it. Nah, we stepping out. We going we to step play at the blacktop. Oh, we playing the blacktop. I got a team showed up. P got a team showed up. Church got a team showed up. Who you showing up with? Four other guys with yourself. These are guys I liked or just the best. You, we coming out here to win the twenty million. Oh, here. we told him. We got a twenty ball million. tournament. Twenty million. You showed up with four <laughs> other motherfuckers. Who you showing up with? Dang. In the history. In the hit. In the history. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Dang. Uh, top five. Who you bringing well, to the court with? You? MJ's out there. You got Jordan cool. on your team. That means you and ain't finna shoot the ball. You finna be passing the MJ ball. MJ okay, distributed cool. for sure. I'm gonna give you five I'm coming off the bench. Okay. You got. Uh, Yo, you got. You finna give me ten? No, I'm just giving you five. Okay. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm six man. Yeah. Oh, 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 you coming off the bench? You said so I'm you, out there. You said I was in there. I want you to be in the game, Lord. Oh, dang. I'm going to start over Magic or something? Yeah. <laughs> Magic, you come off the bench. It's my team. It's called the Professors. Okay? You play for the Professors, okay? All You're right, coming look. off the bench, Magic. All right. Since we had, dude, you know what I'm saying? I think Magic get the one. I re I'm ready to almost give Steph Curry the one. Ooh. I'm ready to almost give Steph Curry the one. So, Steph, one. you take the one. Yeah. Uh, Jordan out there. Kobe's out there. You got them on the same team? Got to put up. I'm just saying they. they it's, got you. They I'm just listening. by the rank of the history. Go with your yeah. shit, man. Right. I think Kobe I, Jordan. I think I would actually put. Ooh, we, you need a big team because wh whoever you bring is gonna be big dogs. Listen, I ain't even talking about who I'm bringing. The whole big team, bro. Yeah, because I think I'm playing a point on my team. I want you to know that. I'm okay. running the one on my okay, team. Okay, we're not gonna do this. I'm gonna revamp. <laughs> I'm gonna actually retract. I'm actually gonna put Braun at the three. We're gonna take Kobe off. Okay. But Braun at your three. Rest in Mike peace at to Kobe. Two. We gonna, yeah. And Steph Curry at your no, no, one. Yeah. Yep. And then um, we're gonna have to go big dogs. I think I'm gonna go Shaq at the five, and then at the four. I'm trying to think. Is it is it Tim Duncan? Is it Kareem? Is it? I think I'm gonna go 
Kareem at the four. Ooh, you're going Kareem Shaq. Yeah, I just feel like he can have the inside. Kareem can play 10 feet out. You know what I'm saying? We'll, right. we'll do it like that. Right. Yeah. Well, I, like that. I don't know. I like that. Who you got? <laughs> I'm the one. Okay. You know what's crazy? As I was saying, I wanted KG, but you and me on other Listen, <laughs> I got AI at my two. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to play Kobe at the three. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw everybody off for a loop with this one. But um, who you got? I'm going to go Will and Bill Russell at my 4 5. Dang. Yeah. Who's guard Shaq? Bill Russell. Bill and then Russell. I'm putting Will on Kareem. Hey, you know what's crazy though? Them dudes, bro, Listen. they moved crazy though. Listen. Like, you watch the grainy footage of Bill Will and Chamberlain. I don't think. One thing I'll say is, bro, they, they might be more, Listen. they are more athletic than Dwight. The they, biggest <laughs> misconception we have is yeah. that this younger generation is more physical. I ain't gonna say more physical, but more skilled. And the perception of what the shots that these young kids take today versus the older generation, how they was taught the game. Yeah. It wasn't so gimmicky. It wasn't so uh, tricky. It wasn't. It was just straight couldn't even to put it. your hand on the side of the straight ball. Straight up, straight up. Yeah. But carrying came into it, and 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 it affected. Pistol Pete was unbelievable with the carry, and and just all of it. So, yeah. with the evolution of the game, you got to put the carry in there just because of how you handling it. Yeah. And the pressure. If you yeah. if you are handling a hand check, everybody knows that. If you handle a hand check, then you should let somebody carry because the hand check actually neutralizes all this. You know, just think about being able to control the Bro, ball. The, and the hand check is crazy. The, the hand check is a whole- <laughs> That's a game changer. It's a whole game changer. Yeah, but so is the carry. It if is you, though, game changer. The, game, yeah. the yeah. game changer and the carry just, AI came in and changed it. So Change it, I say yeah, all yeah. that to say um, that the game has to evolve and it has to have an evolution to it. Or we're looking at the same 1950s, 1940s. Yeah, Michelle, like, we had to go yeah. Again, and right? I like what you said too, because I think like those, it's like it's unfair, right? Because if Bill Russell was brought up in today's game, or will they would be nice? They would be taught the game the way they talk today. The it, athleticism. It would just be the download of what everybody is. They don't understand how physical the game was back in those days, too. Just you know. Yeah, dudes. Yeah, exactly. I think it, it's definitely underestimated. You get the footage gets grainy, and they they downplay it or whatever. But. Um, Anyway, I want to see that game for sure. No it's doubt, crazy. no doubt. And you know what's crazy? With AI and technology these days, we can actually animate it and see what that looks like. Bro, that's crazy. Bro. I'm waiting for that day. We did bring that game to life, like in AI. Let's they were talking about that the other day. They I think he's like, in the room somewhere. Josh is in the room somewhere in here. Yeah. They were they, they, Somebody told me that, though. They're like, bro, YouTube, this thing, you never know where this is going. Yeah, you AI, might make an AI, AI you trash watching AI? talker you see video. What AI, you see what AI is doing? AI is changing yeah, everything. I'm on it. I'm chat GPT. Oh, what do you no, think you about know. this Fine. video I'm thinking about? Fine. What would you title it? Inspirate. It just gives you inspiration, right, bro. I'm already it. trying to tackle it early, but I want to thank you for letting me come through your space, man. Hey, Taking man. some time out for me, man. I know I've been hounding you for a little bit. No, I'm gonna keep on humble, DMing bro. your ass every time I see some crazy shit on the dribble. <laughs> every time I see something crazy on the net, I hear, "Oh, Fessa, you gotta do one of these, bro." He came up the steps. I saw you. You can yeah. kill this in it. Okay, I'm on I got that too. And then he like, "I got you. I got you." <laughs> humble, bro. But you know, wanna, and that's why I say I love that we got to sit down and do this because. No I feel like back in the two, for whatever reason, that early 2000s, y'all were in y'all universe and we were in our universe. And like, yeah. I feel like I, the NBA for me was uncrackable. Like I couldn't even have a combo with KG. You know what I'm saying? Well, David Stern was very protective we, of Yeah, all, they of were, everything. right? Y'all were like. Adam Silva has a little more leniency. He understands. Yeah. I think he understands collabs. I think he's, yeah. I think in the world in which we live in now, yeah. collabs is where it's at. Right. Taking two types of different generations or not even generation, just two different, two difference and putting them together for one harmony, I think it's, it's hard, bro. Nah, but it's the yeah. play though. I think yeah. each side, I think if David understood what anyone in those moves and that artistry meant to the players, yeah. he would he would have understood it, boy. But that's communication that's and dialogue too, but. For sure, we're here now though, we so are. good. And you know, it's crazy, man, I feel like with great leadership and what you're doing, man, you're speaking in another harmony of what streetball speaks to or speaks to. It speaks to a more of an artistry and mm -hmm. a more artist form. So mm -hmm. keep going, bro. Don't stop what you're doing. Humble, man. I'm a huge fucking humble, fan. Humble, bro. My dog. Hey, Thank man. you for letting me come through come here today. You're hitting bro. my dog. Yeah, man. humble, man. The professor, y'all. Take the certified. Magic was, magic, magic was insane. Magic was before. The di dimes. Was, Listen, yeah. I was going to say that. So so yeah. when you watch Magic in the timing, you yeah. know what goes in the timing, Bro, right? Bro, Magic. One thing I'm amazed at, Magic, he'd be like two passes ahead of the game. Facts. But what was crazy Facts. is like, he'll come out here, 
High dribble he too, might get bro. Around, get around this dude, right? And then come in here and do, you know, my, you know what I'm saying? Like he'd be like three, being six nine, being like two or three passes ahead of the game. But that whole like, I shake you out here, I shake these people here. Boom, like, you know what fascinates me about Magic? Some of the most simplest <laughs> shit that nobody ever talks about. How this man used to pass right-handed, left-handed delivery. Yeah. You know, coming off a of pick and roll, yeah, going yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. If your left ain't strong enough to come back and make this, because he's coming up, right? right? Dude's rolling. You gotta, right. you gotta make this pass left. Left. You can't stop and pivot. Now, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's wild. Lord, his and hands, his his ability to cross and and find you on left or yeah. boom and hit you. Yeah. That's what I'm talking Bro, about. Bro, he still got one of the low key, one of the coldest NBA mixes. Period. Yo, man, you know, like all them, uh, all them like one handed bounce passes, Facts. full court, and all that. No, it kind of man, the ball, the the yeah. the wood, it, man. It's wild, God, bro. Man, listen, everybody's taking for granted the moves you see. Yeah. And just think that the ball supposed to bounce back up, or if I throw it between the nigga legs, it's supposed to pop. Like none of that shit, man. That shit sometimes going right out of bounds because the flow dead. You got up the science. Straight up, and then imagine was coming down here. Mike, act like you gonna take the layup, take yeah. the layup, drop it off. Like, yo. It's wild. He was playing like two, three plays ahead, right? It's honestly, it's actually wild. Like, some of the passes I still watch, I'm like, yo, I ain't never seen that. Man, he did that shit when you was getting hand checked, physical, ain't enough room in the lane. Six, and think about it, the, the crazy part of Magic 2 is hard to take him out of that top five. Yeah. Uh, is because Six, it's nine. never been duplicated. Nope. Who's the next Magic? Nope. Penny was the closest to me. Penny was the closest, right? And maybe he would have developed. You, yep. know, you know, injuries are the worst. But, um, yeah, to answer your question, though, also, you said uh, Iverson. Iverson. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know what's crazy, though? I feel like uh, they always say, like, who had a better handle, Iverson or Kyrie? And I felt like Iverson had that better move, right? Nobody, that crossover was like, that, 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 that's a showstopper. That might change the momentum of the game. Yes. So you remember But, but you, Kyrie's bag was, Kyrie's has more yes. spin moves, get out of situation. Like, I, I would say Kyrie's layup package. Oh, it's crazy. It's, it's, the it's, finish package? His finish, yeah. <laughs> his, 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 his ability. AI's, um, y'all remember when a, when a, when a sky hook came in? Yeah, yeah. And Kareem had the sky hook and everybody was trying yeah, to, yeah. everybody was like, oh, you got to get a sky hook. Jordan came in with the fadeaway, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. AI's cross, when it first came in the fire, league. It's fire. That was, that was my first move I learned, well, bro. David Stern, he was embarrassing real cats. And David Stern was like, oh, no, we got to get this under control. The first 25 games, when he embarrassed Michael like Jordan. like cheating, right? And when he embarrassed Michael Jordan in the free throw line, that's when they start calling palming on him. Yeah. Because he was too much of a he, – he was right here. It's a Cleveland game. I think it's Terrell Battle. He's uh, – and he was, he was in the rim like, ah. Yeah. Like just, ah. It was all yeah. like, like, like one, two dribbles. Yeah, just that one against uh, Antonio Daniels, maybe fell twice. Oh, oh in Philly, <laughs> in Philly. Yeah. And that's when it was, that's when it was tough to, yeah. that's when you can, you know what I'm saying? Oh, bro, that's dude what was I'm like saying, that, bro. bro. What were you thinking when you saw that? Because your probably, draft classes. I'm 95. You were the year before, right? So I'm the year before. Everybody that came out in 96 was all my friends. So everybody that came out, I knew all those guys. I, I had played against them, blah, blah, blah. What did right? you think about that move, though, when it came out? What was your... I knew. I had seen... I had played a, a, with AI in 94 at Nike. Mm. And I had seen him before mm. he went... He, had to, he got some trouble and all this other shit. But before, we were both at Nike. Mm -hmm. And I came back home like, yo, I seen the... Man, I seen the best player... Because I had also seen Felipe Lopez... Dude was nice back Man, then. Man, yeah, Felipe yeah. Lopez yeah. was a Dominican kid. Yeah. Barely spoke English. Motherfucker was a 6'6 guard. He had he had New York handle. Yeah. He had New York yeah. flair. Yeah. So AI and, and 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 Felipe was the two best I've seen. And there was another kid, and I, I can't even front this. Kid named Gerard Ward went to Michigan. Man, okay. this motherfucker about 6'10. Had he was just nice early, right? Mm. But I had seen AI and I was like, they called it the uh, the the DC crossover. Yes, the DC. Y'all remember yeah. this? Y'all remember? Yeah. Everybody remember this? Yeah, yeah. Remember DC crossover was? It was like it was it was it was it was up it was up here. It was it was kind of like, like in here. Like a running crossover. Like a it was like a yeah. yeah. He took he took that <laughs> and started bringing it out here, Professor. Yeah. Man, AI might come and and he would have so much spin and callus on his hand. You can hear that bit spin in his hand. And he'd be like. <laughs> Woo! And when he when he would whip it through, you yeah. could you could hear that shit, man. I feel like the crazy part about it though, it wasn't. It was. Remember they developed a palming because it wasn't a carry. It wasn't a carry. Listen, he, he the carry, suspended it. Listen, you know what he had started yeah. doing? He started he started crossing you, going right into the lay, yo. Yeah. It, it wasn't even a reaction to that yeah. shit. 
Nah. Did he start hezzying? Yeah. He started. Oh, when he started doing it. I know. Uh, AI was probably the most unguardable cat in our league. Yeah. And Kobe was like, no, nah, I don't shit. Both going, y'all shut that shit up. So they got into it like, I'll lock you up. Well, come guard it. And then the referees jumped in like, hey, y'all be quiet. Like, fuck that. We talking. Y'all stay the fuck. AI and Kobe. Oh, for real? Into it. Yeah, that's they what that was about. Let me go. Because Kobe did the move too. Man, listen, they was both talking that shit. <laughs> both niggas, like, I'll lock that up. Well, come lock it up. This, yeah. Damn. Fun times though, man. They had, um, there was a couple dudes now I think about in the league that were like underground. It would have been nice on the, like, uh, what's the name? Flip Murray. Was oh, nice. yeah, yeah. Flip was nice. Flip would have been nice Flip in the like, nice. one game. Uh, yep. Who else would have been nice in the N one game? I feel like. That's the thing with AI. I feel like mainly AI. Kyrie. AI and Listen, Kyrie, of course. Kyrie, yeah. as much as you don't want to, you know, you know who actually, when he first started off, I didn't think Steph had quality handles. I thought he had point guard handles to like get out of pick and roll. It, yeah. But he, he developed and got stronger. Yeah. yeah. Now, man, Steph got probably one of, man, Steph. It's crazy. He got the most underrated handles and the most underrated finish. Yeah, that one, what was that one against the Clippers we right well, here? he rocked the, Chris Paul ass. <laughs> well, what, what about that shit he rocked Chris Paul oh, ass man. out there on the baseline? Oh, yeah, yeah, that double behind the back. He gave no. That That's right. Made, you know what I'm saying? That's right. That was. Hey, yeah, I rocked. feel like his handle developed over the years. I actually didn't even put him in, like, no handle no. category until maybe. Facts. Like, five, six years ago. Yeah, 2015. He got strong. He got stronger. Yeah, like, 17, 18, maybe. Something like that. Something That's like fire. that. I love that. He's still getting good while he's still in the league. Like, still nah. adding layers to his game. Five best handles in the game ever. Dang. Don't even rank them. Just name them. We ain't even going to put one. In the league. If you want, well, yeah, we ain't going to rank them. In the league ever. Five best handles. They had the list the, the, the year. Let's see. Um, they had a list already? They they made a, it was like Isaiah. A handle list? Yeah. C Webb and Isaiah Thomas. And then Isaiah mentioned my name. So I was like, I started crying. But um, let's see. <sighs> Iverson. Cause that cross, that yeah, cross to. game it's, over. It's, it's, yeah. Kyrie. They didn't start to get tricky though. Start to get tricky after. Let's see, Iverson and Kyrie. <clears throat> it ain't never tricky. You can't ever get skip, this wrong. I'm throwing Skip for the influence of the Absolutely. handle. Absolutely, you know nah, man. I'm throwing Skip for the influence and in what he what he started. And then, but then, I'm gonna say, J. Will. Oh look, you didn't. You didn't. No, 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 I'm talking about what's Jay. Tell my white chocolate? White chocolate. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. Jay Will. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. What's that, four? Four, four? but I'm trying to think. The old school got to have, the old school got to have some love. So I'm going to say, because look, I could go a bunch of ways. I could say, I could go Pistol Pete, but you also could go Isaiah Thomas. Thomas, Right. And then you also could say Magic. But Magic's handle was actually crazy. Magic to be 6'9", high dribble? Man, listen, man. You know what I hate about history? No one's talking. No one ever talks about that. Motherfucker 6'9". You know what 6'9 look like? I know. 6'9 I know. like right here somewhere, right? Motherfucker yeah. got dribbles all up here. I know. Can you imagine playing a guy to park his shit all the way up here? He's taking two days to come down on the dribble. It's like that, bro. It's like that. 6'9". I mean, just, I don't know. I Pass don't know either mean. hand, bro. Like, come on. Magic was a fucking machine, bro. That motherfucker was a wild. robot, dog. But then, look, this convo gets hard, though, because it's like Jamal Crawford's of the world. You yeah. even had dudes like... Yeah, he uh, got some handle. Kenny Anderson and dude. Ooh, it's yeah. funny because Kenny, you know, he's my coach. Ross Strickland. Yeah, Ross Strickland. Oh, that was one of my favorite. You know what Ross. I mean? So it's a lot of dudes got to get left off. It's actually really hard. You know what I mean? Honorable mention, man. You so can't I ever think, fuck yeah, it up I when think, it comes to I handles. think as that fifth spot, I'd actually throw Magic, but I'll throw Pistol Pete for the lineage and yeah. what it was started. I would throw in uh, all them cats. Uh, Jamal Crawford obviously got to be. Ah, Jamal Crawford hard to leave out of the top five. Uh, but, you know, a lot of dudes get that honorable mention. Ross Strickland, Kenny yeah. Anderson. Ooh. We're fl- we're forgetting. We're forgetting a couple people. Yeah, Steph. We are. I got Ross Strickland in my Steph. top five. Yeah. I got Kyrie in my top five. Kenny Anderson, probably most underrated handle. Um, what do you think? Yeah, some of the similar. I, I got Chris Paul in there, in, in, in oh, there somewhere too. I love Chris dang. Paul's. Listen, he what, turned up though the last five years too. Though. And two to incorporate some of the stuff that we're talking about yeah. in the game of flow is yeah. is probably the most difficult. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? I throw Sham in there. Sham didn't make the league, but Sham guard. Yeah. They was played one, in the league for a year, though. He played in the league Wizards? for one year. Okay, okay. It, it was, you know what I mean? But yeah. I know what, what I mean. thought Sham could actually bring to the culture of basketball, like he still teaches. He's a uh, coach down at, um, Mavericks. at the Mavericks with Luca and all that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, but Sham, Sham probably has some of the best handles. Yeah. Got to throw AI in there. Got to throw Steph in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steph Curry and Mulberry. 
Wait, so who's the five though? You name <laughs> This is why it got hard for me. Yeah, Zeke is my Zeke is in there. That's Ron the thing. Strickland. Zeke inspired all the ghosts yeah. we talked yeah, about. Yeah, that's too. what I'm saying. I gotta so. throw him in there. Kenny Anderson is in there. I'm putting Kyrie in there, and then I'm gonna go with AI just because okay. of the crossover in there. I like that. I like that. Are you close? Closer than we've ever been. Contract agent or lioness? Lioness, sir. We locate the wives and daughters of these high-value targets, and we place an operative close to them, and we kill the target. If we play this right, it is over before it's begun. We move now! Her cover's low! It's that core! Do that! I can't do this. You need to remember what you're fighting for.